I'm good? Yeah. It's the question of the episode. The question of the episode. Call into the bone phone, leave your answer at the tone. Question of the episode. All right, everybody, we're back and we've got some voicemails for you. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Let me see who's up on the docket right now. Email. Sorry, I'm doing I'm doing all the tech stuff. Um. Oh, we got, we got Ricky's friend first. I think. Here oh, he is. nice. Hey, yo, what's up, Mike and Bane and Ricky? <laughs> it's Ben Kirk here. Yeah, Benny. Calling about the, question the episode. Um, I think the question was, what horror movie do you want a sequel, and how would you write it? I would say it would be the musical Hairspray. Oh yeah, baby. That movie was fucking. Horrorable. <laughs> it's and true. The sequel would be everybody would fucking die. <laughs> I fucking hate that movie. He's uh, hairspray and, to yeah, electric boogaloo. John Travolta can eat a dick. <laughs> Right. That's he even does. the remake. That's even the yeah. remake. Ben, he's he not does. even talking about the original John Waters. He's talking about John Travolta uh, loves him. He John loves dicks. Well, so what? Oh, no, I'm not saying anything anything wrong I'm with not, that. Hey, come on! Guys. I'm not saying. Hey. I'm not saying there ain't nothing wrong with John Travolta eating dicks, dude. Well, oh, I, I think he likes good dicks. I don't know if he likes eating. He doesn't them. like those little ugly ones. He <laughs> likes those big ones. The big, the big, those uh, big delicious the, ones. The, the big bulbous penis. The one that looks like uh, what did uh, Austin Powers say? <laughs> A baby's arm holding an apple. Yeah, <laughs> he likes those ones. <laughs> Well, that's gross. So let's move on. Uh, Don, this got to be Don and Ellie. Here we go. I gotta put. I gotta put some of these in my phone so I can. I can see them with their names and not have to guess. It's D Man, Don and Ellie. So I assume it's Don and Ellie. Here we Maybe go. Don it's and Ellie. Two people. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Don and Ellie here. Um, sorry about not making it last week. Yeah. Uh, apparently, switching out your internet uh -huh. bill also knocks out your phone service. So uh, right. Ah. Um, I'll be real quick with mine. He's cutting the cable, uh, though. That's good. Mine been Lilith. Um, not necessarily a true movie demon, but just a demon in real life. Oh, I like I like the story a of Lilith. That just mm. Oh, he cut out. Got GP'd. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, he doesn't have full... Uh, uh, is he still... Is there still going? I, I mean, hear, so like, one, static. It, it's the one thing that happens when you oh, cut the cable weird. with um, Comcast. Okay, so here, here we go, you. here we go. They cut you oh, good. that was weird. Um... That was weird. Call there for a second, but um, oh, ain't gonna be call. Screw yeah. it. So, Crazy. Uh, anyways, Liz is a woman that just basically grabs a guy and essentially screws him to death. So, uh, um, what a way to go. And what's her number again? A bad way to go, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but, we know. Um, we know what you mean, Donnie. For this week, um, I'm gonna go for a movie that needs a sequel. I'm gonna go with Project Metal Beast. I've been oh my gosh, a that's a, that's it's one I haven't heard of in a while. About a metal skinned werewolf. Yeah, and, dude. Uh, I'm yes. a huge werewolf fan. We need more franchises in the genre. And, you know, what's cooler than a metal-skinned werewolf? How old is this movie? I really can't think 80s. of anything. Yeah. And it's a great concept. I, the movie's fun. And I I just want to see a sequel. I don't have any real preference. I just want to see that thing in action again. He's just yeah. like, I, I want to so, see the uh, destruction. Other than that, uh, you know, stay safe. Take care of yourselves, and uh, talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Sweet Absolutely. Action. Dude, Project Metal Beast is something that we ought to do on the show. I'm going to put never, that on the list. I've never so even what, heard of it. It's great. Why is it metal? Someone just built it? I don't remember, but it's some kind of a... It, I can't remember how it became, it, how it came to be, but it looks like it's some kind of like a... Uh, what do you call those? Like a, like a cyborg... Half beast, half, half beast, machine. Half, half, like uh, wasp. Yeah. Half beast, half man. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's Except for, the, that's uh, not a cyborg. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's <right. laughs> that is actually true. That's more like a centaur. Once I calculated that in my it's brain. more like a right. centaur or minotaur <laughs> or something. Uh, okay, so we got uh, Ty or Die up next. Serious? Oh, wait, 
Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, we're, speaking of the Minotaur and, Minotaur and Centaur, the, so I can't remember which one's which, but like one you know is the man body horse, or man torso horse body. Yeah. Go, but go. The, what about the other, the reverse of that? Dude, I feel like your legs would break yeah, exactly. under the pressure. <laughs> so, like you got the lower human to the top. I'm <laughs> telling you, I want to I want a I mean, horse I think body. that exists in some way or another <laughs> sure in, in myth and lore. Because it yeah, would be but just the, thing, the opposite. The thing is, is the evolution wasn't kind to them <laughs> because all their legs would break under the half of a They were just dragging their head on the But how would it be how weird would it be if it was actually four legs and a, a man's ass hanging out in the back <laughs> and his little wiener and then you've got <laughs> and then you've got, got a horse, horse on top i was, I was like, about to say i want to be Jesus. a horse up from here down with that giant dong and not you're, like you're, a giant top with a tiny without dong. that tail see that's why the tail's there so someone doesn't come up and stick their ding dong in your ass all the time <laughs> that's a protection you can swat it away i think it's to like clean your butt from poop and also flies. Oh, it? It's for flies. And flies. And scratching yeah, yeah, you and stuff I, like I, I see Because the flies get around a horse's butt. Yeah, I see them. I see the, you know, <laughs> slapping the flies away. You know what I like? All of a sudden but, we became zoo- zoologists. <laughs> and we're, we're explaining to the people guy why chasing, there's a horse tail. Come on. Those guys that own horses, they're running around behind them all the time going, I'm going to get a hold of you. No. Don't, don't. You don't think so? Dude, it's funny because we were watching Top Gear. Was it Top Gear? Where those old British dudes are like, driving cars around or something like that. Anyway, we're watching the show and they went down. To, I don't even know if it was that show, but it was the same dudes. They go down to like somewhere in South America and they're driving around and I'm watching it with my son. And all of a sudden they, they, they go, what is going on over there? And they show and they zoom the camera in. There was just some dude banging a donkey. F- and oh the, yeah. They used to love that down there. Well, the th- well I mean, this was pretty re- I mean, within the last like five, 10 years or something like that. So my son just looked at me like, it was he on was, TV, he though? was, at, well, I mean, it was blurred out. He had uh, an so. epiphany. He's like, dad, but, you can do that to a donkey. And then, and then they get, the, then they all round up and they go to the, the village and they're like, oh, by the way, um, there's a dude banging a donkey and they're like, oh yeah. That's, that's just, just what, Steve. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> no, he's like, we all do it. It's yeah, just it's do. it's natural thing to do. I uh, think that's a natural I, thing to well, do. Well, I've seen, I love me some Idiot Abroad. Oh. And I remember, you know, Carl Pilkington. Yeah, I know who he is, yeah. And there, I believe there's an episode where he's down there where they're like, yeah, we fucked the donkeys. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. You know, some little Spanish town or something. They're hey, like, listen. No, we fuck them. Far like, be it from I'll me. I'll tell you what, you've never had a better lay in your life. Till it like kicks you in the face. Also, what what about the smell? But the donkeys like it too. So what like, what about Jesus. the smell though? I feel like that is a deal breaker. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's a deal breaker regardless tomato, of, potato, the, of the whatever you're potato. having sexual intercourse with. But did I say intercourse? When you're having sexual you know, intercourse, if you're with, looking at over that beautiful valley, and you're just banging <laughs> banging a donkey. Come on. I hate that let it went him, there. Let them let, let him have some fun. Okay? I, well, I was on the brought it up. That's my bad. And I hate where it have went. Have you ever seen the movie The Death of Dick Long? No. Oh, it's... I've never even heard of it. There's some... It's about... There's horse fuckings involved in it. No. Oh, okay. Well, uh, tired eye, you have to follow that up. Good luck. <laughs> hey, guys. It's Ty. Um, just wanted to call in but the question of the uh, the week about what sequel we'd like to see of a movie and what storyline, all that kind of good mess. Yeah. Um, I think something would be cool would be uh, like a sequel to uh, Good Night, Mommy. I don't oh. know if y'all have seen that one. I think, I think y'all have. The I've seen it. The kids killed it to me yeah, I've seen day. it. I liked it. Um, yeah, but yeah, one. just to see yeah. like, what actually happened to the boys. I would be dead like, afterwards. That kind of That's shit. Someone, you know, oh, that was like, that really good movie. Up, she was wrapped up, the mom. Yeah. They didn't no believe it was their mom. That's damn good. Yeah, I think that would just be something interesting to see. Yeah, no, I agree. That's a good call. So, that's a good call. Yeah, that's fine. Have a good one. That oh, is yeah, damn that's a good. good one. In fact, I need to rewatch that movie. Yeah, I because I I was thinking about that a few weeks ago. I was like, what was that fucking weird movie where she was wrapped up the whole time? Yeah, that was. Do you ever seen this? What is it? The skin I'm in, or the skin I live in, or something like that? Oh, Antonio Banderas. With Antonio Banderas, yes. that will f you up, bro. Woo. That no, will. I've never seen that ending. It's don't, me. Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch it, Antonio it's Banderas. The skin no, 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 I'm in. No, no, no. I was just, I was going to say, skin I was gonna I'm spoil in. something. Yeah, the skin. It's. I, uh, I thought you were talking about that one with. Uh, what's no under the skin? Under, under the, the skin. skin. No, this is to- Antonio Banderas. Yeah. You know what? It's like disturbing as that, that was. Oh yeah. Well, me too. More titties. I hope she can get a good. Uh, Ooh, I wanted to get a Monica Bellucci circa 1992. Wants the irreversible too. No, I, I feel like irreversible one was fine. 
Uh, okay, so uh, we got, uh, oh, Mike from Vices and Terramo. Here we go. Hey, this is Mike, again, formerly from Vices and Terramo. What does that mean? Um, back in the day, there was this uh, podcast called uh, Cadaver Lab with Mike and Sam. And yes, I loved it. it. I About it. 10 years Tune ago, in. Mike helped me set up a podcast. Oh, nice. I'm nice. It names this podcast in Latin? Well, that would be this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it? It's whoa, a bastardization. It? It? Well, that would be this one, it Sam. What? And uh, about 10 years ago, Mike helped me set up a podcast. I didn't like to hear his he name. What kind that of again. idiot names his podcast in Latin? Well, that would be this one. Did somebody mention that you're an idiot if you name your podcast in Latin? It was, That had to be you, Ricky. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't have even thought of that. It's got to be Ricky. It's got to be way quicker. Because Ricky is no. Also, He's Ricky's got that dime. little edge of being a dickhead. So <laughs> it's like, I feel like it was him because I wouldn't have said it. Apparently, I helped him ten years ago set it up. You know, God bless you, sir. For oh, I'm nice. Well, what is it? It's a bastardization and a mispronunciation of time to slay. Ooh, I, I never knew so that. Clever. It's time to kill. And uh, yes. I thought, uh, Great yeah, overkill song. Gone away. Way. Anyhow, so that's what that is. Cool. Answer to the question. What horror sequel would you like to see? I think uh, long overdue is uh, The Adventures of Milo and Otis. I want to see the uh, the episode where they <laughs> come back with rabies and take out the entire neighborhood. That sounds like awesome. You know, now that I say <laughs> Do they that, die about, at that. Oh, yeah. That seems kind of dark. <laughs> it Maybe does. the horror sequel should just be the dog eating the cat. I don't know. That's probably not what you guys had in mind. Anyhow, <laughs> no rules, love Mike. the show. Keep up the good work. Talk to you later. Okay, wait. He's done. Oh, he's calling. But he didn't. But he didn't. Yeah. Part he, two. He didn't hang up. He's doing a sequel. No, he didn't hang up. He he's got. got he ended up getting GP'd. But he, we got nothing. He forgot to hang up his phone. I I can't. What's the Milo and Otis movie? It's a cat and a dog. It's right? a more like isn't it with like a pug and a cat? Or something. Is it, I'm, I can't remember a movie I'm thinking of, but it's one. Of I the, was thinking of uh, what do they call Ritter and Fritter, the big fat guy and the, the skinny guy, and they're going through all those rigmaroles. <laughs> no, you're talking about uh, Laurel and Hardy. No, I'm talking about the horror movie. You got the big. Fat oh, guy. Tucker and Dale Tucker versus and, Evil. Tucker and Dale versus anyway, Evil with the animals. But they're one of those old like Disney esque. Yeah, well, it movies. was like that yeah, kind yeah. of movie. Yeah, but I don't know if it was that one or a different one. But anyway, there's like rumor that there's a scene where this cat like jumps over this waterfall. There was a rumor that they were just throwing real cats. I over. heard that. <laughs> I actually heard that. No, no, no. Wasn't it like a dog's life or something like that that was very recent? That I thought that was what it is. I don't know. This I don't know. Old, Disney will do all of, kinds of it things. It was like, yeah, they were just like, oh, they're chucking. The cats. Everybody's all pissed off. Did you get at, the shot? <laughs> nope. They're pissed off at like oh, Cannibal God, Holocaust for something that people are eating for sustenance, and you don't hear anything about chucking cats under waterfalls anymore. Yeah. Except for you did, I guess. But the, the beauty of Disney or don't whatever is that they can get throwing cats over waterfalls. waterfalls. <laughs> Please stick to the old cats and dogs that you <laughs> used to. <laughs> but the beauty about Disney Look how proud is these guys are they can have they can have 20 of the same cat. They can get people to bring their cats. It'd be very does your cat looking, yeah. look hey, would you, just like this? Would they you go, chuck yeah, my does. cat, please? Yeah. And they could tell them that. Hey, no, sign get this. Bucks. We're going we're gonna to chuck your cat, but we're going to give you $1,000. It'll so you probably go, die. <laughs> God, I hope you do. And they're like, is the life of my cat worth $1,000? The husband's like, yes, <laughs> definitely. Honey. That's a mortgage payment. <laughs> Let him huck the cat. <laughs> Jesus. Let him check it. What are uh, okay, so I'm not sure who this is, but uh, we'll go ahead. Go, Ted. Gentlemen. Is this Darian? Mike. That's a D-man. Padded guy, Room podcast. Darian calling from the, the other guy. Room. He called Ricky the other guy. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, oh my guys, gosh. And I am back now. I am fresh been a while. off my COVID uh, what work from home horse shit and I am back and listening to the show and I'm falling in love all over again. Oh, oh it's romantic. Oh. So, I love it. Padded room. Ado, oh, by the way, I also had Ohio State in my bracket, Mike, uh, and sucked. I can officially wipe my ass with <laughs> that bracket. My and bracket with this sucked. Entire, uh, tournament. So yeah, same. that right off. Uh, question of the episode: What horror movie needs a, re- a uh, sequel, and what the hell would you do with it? Yes, I'm going to go with Nightbreed. On that, and uh, Clive Barker actually wrote the sequel that ended up being adapted into some comic books. Oh, okay, where the 
breed breaks off after Midian and there's two factions and one of them wants to eat people and the other one doesn't and they end up fighting. <laughs> Could have been badass, right? It's like the Republicans and like Democrats, a, uh, except Barker for both of them want to eat people. Kind of a situation. Too bad that never happened because the studios pissed him off. Oh, that's very much. crazy. Also, Mr. Mike Cadaver, I oh. take umbrage with you, sir. Oh, um, my goodness. Last episode, you continuously referred to Patrick Stewart as Jean Luc Picard. Yeah. You dirty, filthy, <laughs> that's who it is. whore. That's who it is. That is Professor X, my friend. Oh. oh. And that is only Professor X. And Nerd I rage. No I would yes. agree with him. I like John this Luke, dance. Whoever. Yes. It is he claim him to be. Fuck John Luke. Whoever. All right, fellas. I will talk to I'm you next old. week. Uh, keep up the good work. Keep calling. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to call in next week. Sounds and, great, uh, man. More shit. Okay, bye. Oh, it's nice to hear from Darian, the old Padded, padded room. room podcast. Still going strong. Yeah. Still it? doing okay, it. Cool. The, the thing is, is, I feel like our podcast connected one night in Salt Lake City. We got together. Like a teepee. And then we, now we've kind of come back, and now it's getting back together. It's like it was meant to be, you guys. Yeah. It's like it was meant to be. I have, Yeah, we haven't heard That's from him school. in a long time, man. That's awesome. I'm going to say five years. Oh, I bet it's more than that. Really? Dude, we've been doing this for nine. Jesus. Nine pl- in a few months, bro. It's time to start rethinking. The other guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the other guy. Yeah. Well, he, come on. You, were, you, weren't, in Salt, you weren't in Salt Lake, man. We made, yeah. we made connections that will last a lifetime kidding. there. Also, your your uh, name's hard to say because if you see it spelled, it's like, is yeah, it spelled? Yeah, but no one sees it I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, so I don't know who this is either, but uh, here we go. Hey, Mike, uh, Cadaver Cast, Corpse Cast. Yeah, buddy. It's Bloody Turd here. Nice. Um, Bloody Turd? See, the question is Terror. Uh, sequels oh. and stuff. I don't know if it, uh, well, I, like Bloody I don't know if this addresses it, but Where I have else? something to say. I would like to see the Fast and the Furious, the Knoll, Too Fast, Too Furious, huh. and Tokyo Drift, and go I'm right not to that familiar Fast with and Furious, these guys. The, fourth, the fourth film of the series. <laughs> right. Uh, the only legitimate sequel to the first film. Uh, however, <laughs> it was fun while my girlfriend was in the kitchen, and I popped in Tokyo Drift, and she <laughs> comes back to continue a hangout to find us only watching Tokyo Drift. Uh-huh. And he's saying, yeah, it's, uh, it's a cool new movie called uh, Drive Me Crazy. You it drive me good. crazy. Uh, it took a while before she realized what we were watching. And we yes. had a good laugh over it. Uh, also, I pro thought tip, it was funny. You're watching a, a movie with your girlfriend that you don't like, you can, uh, hopefully she'll step out and you can just hit the next chapter. Oh, you don't think I've done that? As you, feel you don't think I've done like girl walks out, you're just and like, fast then, forward until you hear uh, coming back and hit play again. With, like, you know, I mean, you can't, you got to be good about it because the noise factor. But the story, just kind of fudge. I've never the, done that with a DVD, though. That would be way easier. Catch up. Well, the guy know, died. That's all you got to say. The guy died. Like, yeah, it's just weird. Because it's a shitty movie. Because she picked it. You know, all of a sudden they're, yeah, now we're here. It's just a dumb movie. Anyway. That's good advice, though. Things I have to say about sequels and please thanks. call in every week please bloody, bloody terror. terror calling in bloody turd bloody terror you're just mad because somebody called you i the thought other it was guy. bloody carry uh it's, it looks like bloody terror if uh if i'm looking at the uh please call in every week please <laughs> please is that what you're it was is enjoyable. that where we're going okay. highly enjoyable okay so i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not i'm not uh versed in the fast and the furious universe I, mean, I know that The Rock got into it later. I've never yeah. seen a damn one of them. I saw Tokyo Drift with I've the guy with the with the guy who sounds like he's uh, like a cowboy or something. Yes. And yeah. Who's that? So it's the cowboy and a bunch of Asians. Oh, that. So who's the cowboy? He's not in any of he's the. He's just other some Fast kid. Oh, I thought he was. Uh, what happened to old Bing Rames or whatever? I think he or, shows uh, up in one of them, and you're thinking of different movies with Vin Rames. No, I'm thinking. I mean, I'm thinking of the white Bing Rames. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. The white. He's like is a, he white? He's like a Puerto Rican. Yeah, oh, is he Puerto Rican? No, 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 I don't know. But it, that's what I would think of. Rather Maybe than he's but I, When I think of Fast and Furious, I think of him going, you better pump up that carburetor if you're going to hang out with us. <laughs> they, that, that line is uttered 82 times throughout the series. Really? By the way. Yeah. No, and no, I've absolutely. never seen a one of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we've got, uh, oh, this is uh, Joey Redbeard. Here he is. Oh, yes. This is a long one. I wonder the if pirate. he's. I wonder if he's drunk again. Here we go. 
Seriously, Great balls terrible. of fire, Joe Redbeard. Good, 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 good. What is this, episode 295? Yeah. Holy shit. What are you right. guys going to do for 300? Something crack, we special, told you. Something sexy? We're doing a meth and crack. Smoking What's up, crack. Mike? Shane? Young Ricardo? Mm, young What's up, boys? That's acceptable. Uh, haven't called in for a minute uh, just because I haven't felt like it mostly. Oh, don't oh. strain yourself. Anyway, Perfect fucking I'm going to... Start off by thanking you fucks for playing Portal a couple weeks ago. Yeah. That band has always been fucking just phenomenal and incredible. <laughs> and even though it uh, tweaked it, uh, Mike's pussy hairs a little bit. Oh, I mean, I just um, didn't know what to think. That band's fucking incredible. Has always been incredible. Swarth is their best album. Swarth? Is that the um, one with the single on it that my, has the video? In my humble opinion. Okay. Now... I will answer the question of the episode. I got two answers for you, sons of bitches. <laughs> Ready for them? Yep. Fucking better be. All right. Or what? Um, it's almost like he heard us. I know, right? Yep. I totally I fucking better be. <laughs> a spinoff sequel series type thing from Diamond Dallas Page and... Uh, DDP Yoga. What's I'll take name? that. Fucking uh, Trujillo. Hold on. Robert Diamond Trujillo. Dallas Page is the greatest... Wrestler of all no, time. Do you want to know why? Because you remember who was? Remember it was the Hollywood Mankind Hulk Hogan, and the Undertaker. No, I'm match. about to change your mind. Okay, the Ultimate Warrior. Because was. remember when Hollywood Hulk Hogan teamed up with uh, Dennis Rodman, and then DDP teamed up with the Mailman Carl oh, Malone. Really? Oh, dude, it was funny because you know you know you're watching. Are you kidding? No, that I went and saw it. No, I didn't. I didn't see it, but I I went to do pay per view and saw it. But what I'm but what I'm saying is funny. You know how Carl Malone's You're got talking about Carl Malone, ba- basketball player. Yeah. yeah basketball. Do you know another Carl Malone? Carl Malone don't know another Carl Malone. Well, I know the guy that sells cars down in Heber. That's uh, anyway. Was oh, that the same guy? <laughs> the Carl Malone dealership. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> that's a well, franchise shit, of Carl Malone, bro. Blouse and call me Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, so like. It's funny because, like, Carl Malone, you see him play basketball. He looks like this big rip dude, right? He comes out next to DDP, and he looks like this skinny little guy, just like just like with these long, skinny arms. Right, right. And I'm like, DDP must be huge. Because <laughs> so I was looking at, at Carl Malone thinking, he looks like a skinny little dude. And yeah. That's crazy to me. Anyway, sorry to uh, interrupt, but that's why I like DDP. Uh, Danny Trujillo's character is from like his yoga, The Devil's serious. Reject. He does. The un- Unholy Two. Yeah. Um, I want to see a spin-off rejects. series of them meeting up in prison and then just oh, people both getting released. That's and not a bad one. bounty hunters and just killing people left and right. That's I actually think that a would pretty be a lot great of fun idea. For me. Wait, what movie? Um, another sequel. I- so DDP and uh, Danny Trejo. He called him Danny Trujillo, but it's Danny Trejo, right? Trejo, yeah. They were they were in. Well, he's got the Spanish pronunciation though, Trujillo. Oh, uh, but except for there, it's two different anyway. spelled different ways. It's okay. He doesn't matter. Uh, he, Jesus, you guys are really worked up. The Devil's Rejects, right? There's those two dudes when they're like hired killers and whatever. He wants a he wants a spinoff of their story. Oh, oh gotcha. so no, no, I think that would be pretty. Was awesome. it the d- DDP and and Danny Trejo? They were in the Devil's Rejects. Yes. Oh, I never watched Devil's. They look really. Oh, that's good. I, I don't remember yeah. that. No, they looked really grungy. It's like I mean. I didn't. I don't. So I don't did everything else. In I don't movie. remember DDP being in there. Now yeah, gotta, he was in it. Now I got to go watch he a looks shitty like Dog Rob Zombie movie. He kind of looks like Dog. Yeah, yeah, exactly. His mullet. Except for it was darker, and he was really dirty in that movie. Yeah. But anyway. anyway, that's cool. Yeah, would like to see that's Passion cool. of the Christ too. Okay, but I want it directed by Robert Rodriguez. Still keep in all the Mel Gibson stuff and writing screenplay, what what have you. Right. But I want to see Grindhouse Passion of the Christ. Back from fucking hell. Back from the dead. Jesus Christ with an Uzi Dude, riding a Harley Davidson, blowing I the fucking I thought he was going to go shark, um, shark Boy and Mount fucking Golgotha. Rodriguez did and all this. shooting those the shit out shark of boy and uh, Girl. the people that crucified yeah, him. Shark Boy Dude, and Lava Girl. I'd like to do that. I feel like you, right, you're guys, missing uh, the point of the atonement. You great work. You're doing a fine job. You guys Thank smell you. terrific. <laughs> and, uh, awesome. yeah, man. Fucking hell. Ah, Bye. thank you so much, Joey. Call Red. in next week. Do, why are you on? The, why are you like pleading for calls for? Because next I'm week? saying I want him to call back. All right, you just seem a little more desperate um, than usual. That's all. That's might all. Sound a little that's all I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not coming down. I enjoy down on this. You. Sorry. Well, pardon sorry. me. No, I'm not. I'm what just, have I said for ten years now? 
It's my a favorite best. part is the, I know. Is the calls. And nobody's calling you out. It just seems like you're a little bit. I just was wondering how your mental health is because it seems Why like you're you a little needy. Lava, he did a bunch of Rodriguez movies. He did uh, all the Spy Kids. Was DDP kids. in the Spy Kids? No, he's not in there, but uh, no. you Rodriguez. put him in there. Rodriguez movies. He did all the Spy Kids. He did uh, Lava, Shark, Shark Boy, Lava, Lava Girl. Lava Girl. Oh dear! Yeah, I had to. I had to watch all you those. Put with DDP Antonio Banderas and Mario. What's it's, his name? Van Peebles. Van Peebles, <laughs> and get him in there. <laughs> the saving of, grace to Jaws for Mario Van Van Peebles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what was that English actor? Oh yeah, the the main guy. He was he was Alfred Michael uh, Kine. Michael Kine. Uh, oh. I just love ya. <laughs> That, Jeez, that was, I am Michael Isn't Klein. that six degrees of separation, no matter what? If <laughs> oh, you yeah. got Michael Caine and Mario Van Peoples in a movie, can't you fucking do six degrees of anybody forever? I've, that's not two, Kevin that's Bacon two people. Kevin Bacon is a good one. Have you ever dug onto the website? Six right, degrees of bacon? It's, I bet it's like... Right, but yeah, if, you, if you can connect... Dude, if you can connect Mario, Mario Van, Van Peoples and Michael Caine, that's it. It's like it's like doing the window. They were in the same dancing. movie. It's right. easy to connect them, is what I'm saying. What, I know, but when you branch that out, that's a vast world. So what that's you're like saying, the windmill is, move. So, so what you're dance. saying is, Mar- so you're telling me that Mario Van Peebles can be six degreed so easily because of Michael Caine. Exactly. Ah, I see what you're saying. But they can branch out to even different Into areas, different worlds. Yeah, because they're because in- Mario ah. Van Peebles did New Jack City. He did all that. So, so Michael like, Caine is in that whole dirty world. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I like the sound of that. It's Mario, like it's Michael literally Michael Caine's in the dirty Michael world. Michael Caine and Mario Van Peebles is the is the windmill move breakdancing. As soon as that dude spins the windmill, you go, it's over. <laughs> oh, nobody here can do that. Maybe they should do another movie together. The windmill or I can't the, believe they were in one together already. To be honest, with the you. windmill or that hand spin where you would climb on your arm yeah. and spin around. Or what about that? Like, straight like law, head, they, Everyone I break danced against straight, it was like that's it. Straight just head spin. Those were That's it. It's too dangerous. <laughs> that, I remember. That, I remember them warning us in the eighties. They said, "Don't do the head spin because it's too dangerous." Because one kid hurt himself because he was an idiot. No, but I'm shit. telling you, if you were break dancing against a crew of people, and they did the head move, a dance they did crew? the, you know, a a, a, a crew, of, <laughs> a of, dance of, crew, of jammers. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember. I was the ghetto blaster guy. I just was made everyone sure. Everyone like doing this. I just made sh- made sure Shane Shaka was Khan just like, was, yeah, noise. <laughs> you know, I made noise. sure Fat Boys and Shaka Khan was rocking the whole time while they danced. But <laughs> if you had someone that came in with a windmill, a head move, or that thing where you spin on your arm, you're in the, the crews that I hung out with. You're dude, fucked. it's like your special move. Dude, that stuff came back like in the it's, in yeah, the two thousand move because we would like we I, we'd go to the movies or whatever at Jordan Com at Jordan Landing down in West Jordan, right? And there would always be kids there with like a giant like cardboard box, Beautiful. and they'd be taking them. Just like breaking, just like this is breaking. What two, is going on? This street. is amazing. You know, it's cool. I mean, I mean, part of me was like, oh, kids, <laughs> these days. But part of me was like, they're having fun, Mike. They're da- they're they're taking their aggression. See, that's what it was: is taking your aggressions out. You Set know what? Take it out each other. Take it out on the dance floor, and they would have dance fights. Yeah. I don't know if they would do that, Dance but it sounds off. like and you would. And as soon as someone did the head spin or the windmill, it was went, like Starsky well, we and got Hutch. our asses whipped. Let's leave. <laughs> Let's go buy something in fucking Spencer's. <laughs> All right, we got one more. Speaking. Did you have any signature moves? Yeah, the worm. That's it. <laughs> can you still do the worm? You got to prove it out front. Yeah, after this big, see no, this. I. You can do it in the car. You don't want. You don't want a forty-eight year old doing the worm. No, I do. Uh, That's exactly. I what feel I want. like we you know what we're asking. You might be able worm. to get a lot of rock in motion too with your belly. Yeah, if you want to take me directly to the hospital. <laughs> the thing is, he's impossible anymore because he'll do this. His belly will bounce him up yeah. straight. So it's like, it's like, and I could have used that back in the day where it's like, no, I'm doing the worm, blop, but I'm back on my feet. So fuck you. All right, we got one more. It's Mark from Chicago. I bet he does a oh, sweet worm. Love him. Hey, Mike, Shane, and sweet baby Richie, it's Mark from Chicago oh calling gosh. again for the question of the episode. I got, uh, what film would you like to see a sequel to, and what would be the storyline? Yep. All right, so I would really like to see a sequel to the uh, to Brightburn. We would oh, call yeah, it yeah, Brightburn yeah. 2. Oh, that's a good. Cult. Little okay. kid superhero. I like yeah. that. So the boy crazy. starts to recruit the locals, 
into being part of his group. And the people that refuse to be with him, he kills, he kills them off right away. And well, that sounds fashion, like a bully. He is. So, word gets out about how he's recruiting people over the internet, and everybody all over the world decides they want to be part of that group too. So they start pledging their loyalty to him. Well, he's thought about this, killing I, yeah. everybody else around them that doesn't so want to like be part of their the, cult the as well. War. Dude, write this. I think that would have been a badass. Ending That's not bad. This movie. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace. Take so you're taking in Brightburn. You're taking that kid <laughs> yeah, in, but you're I, also um, taking in the, the social medias yeah. and saying. And the whole world just going to battle, like you're either with them or against them. And Brightburn doesn't have to do anything because the, that's like a Sith. To, mm-hmm. like that's a like Sith a Sith. Lord. I don't like that so at all. Like I want to be part of the rebellion and kiss Princess Leia as long as she's not my sister. Yeah, you do it even if she wants to. No, that, have you seen uh, my sisters? I'm joking. I want to kiss that Rian. What's her name? Rihanna? That that uh, female ninja? Or I mean Jedi? Female ninja. Uh, Rayanne. She was the oh, big one. Ray. And Luke Ray. Skywalker's Ray. Ray. Yeah, why not? Yeah, Ray. Ray. Has her name Ray? Did you just call her Rayon? I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was like R-I-A-N. You're, so you're not, talking to the wrong dude, by the yeah, way, I'm about sure Star either. Wars. So. I'd like to give her my lightsaber. <laughs> oh, she's dead. She's in some new movie with Tom Holland, some sci-fi movie. I haven't watched it yet. Just to practice with her, you know, she's work on her. Good. I mean, you know, I like her good enough. She was all right. Just to practice, you know, working on some moves with her. You know, she has a sister that is Even super hotter. hot as well. Yeah. Really? And she's Even not an actress. What's her email address? Yeah. Uh, Ryan at gmail.com. Yeah, I saw that really? same picture with her sister. Yeah, I, was I like, saw. Damn, she's hotter yeah. and not. Yeah. Probably she not wants as, to probably she's not like a ve- she's like a veterinarian or something. Uh, no. She doesn't want to be in the Hollywood She's pictures. probably an influencer on Instagram cuz that's what all hot chicks do in their 20s. She probably is. Oh, so am I boring hold you? This, no, hold this. Am I boring you? No. Hold this bang energy drink up and we'll pay you $50,000. Right. <laughs> you wouldn't have to ask me twice. I'll stick a bang that thing energy in my asshole. Drink? Are you talking about like the orange bang is it now has an energy drink cuz that stuff it, is It was started as an energy drink. Oh, it's start because I'm so saying much you ask me if you want it's me to do anything on Instagram I love and you want to pay me fat money. Shit, I'll hold it up. For Hell you. yeah. I'll take a picture holding that up, whatever it is. So what do you guys have for your answers? I've got one for you. Let's hear it. Ice cream, man. Yes. How does he come back? Oh, sorry. Spoiler. Hey, I don't know. Oh, you just want an ice cream man, too. I don't think <laughs> I've ice ever cream seen man ice too. cream man. Oh, it's great What's his with name? Uh, Howard with Ron Howard's brother, Clint Howard. Clint Howard. Oh, yeah, he's a creepy guy already. Oh, sure. So what does he just like kill little kids? Dude, he's you gotta watch. I'm not going to get anything. I'm not going to give uh, anything away. He's great. He's an ice cream man. He's bringing. He's bringing joy to the folks. Day. Okay, he's an ice cream man. What do you think it's about? Fucking little kids. Jeez. Jeez. Is that what you think about when I wow. you think about delicious uh, summer treats? Or fucking kids. Oh, like, my. if I saw you in an ice cream truck driving around, I'd be like, oh, he's trying to fuck kids. Well, if I was driving it like this. You! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey, kids! Ding, ding! Come on. No, come on. It's like, the parents but would if be I'm like, like, no, Bobby, not this one. Yeah. The next one. <laughs> I need Bobby. my nutty buddy. I got but, your nutty buddy right here, kid. A lot of kids will say, fuck you, Mom. <laughs> this is the guy that I want to buy ice cream from. No, you're, you're very yourself. Then you say, ass. yeah, get in my van. Fuck your mom. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so I have one. Oh, you want to go first? Uh, yeah. Um, I had two. The first one was um, It Follows. I would love to see. Oh, okay. Oh, not that's necessarily, very good. I don't know exactly what kind of story to do, but I want to see some more of that. Sure. Like okay. maybe mix it up with the maybe. I need a watch. I watched it one time and I was not super it's, impressed. Because it's, I don't it's a slow I burn it. is, is maybe why. Well, I didn't mind it. That's why a lot of people I think didn't like it. It's well, just, I it like was a very slow burn. Slow good burn. enough, but it's just like. I didn't. Maybe I didn't relate because yeah, it was. It was one of those ones that kind of stuck with me after. You're like, man, that's yeah. I, I feel like shit. a lot of people brought that up with that question last yeah. time too. But I think a sequel to that would be fun. I think also could be interesting is Get Out a sequel. Yeah. Oh, how do you? Yeah. Like that'd what, be a whole a whole nother. Because there's got to be other white families that are doing that, right? And maybe he like st- gets it like after everything settled down. I voted like, for Obama. Let's go, man. Well, he's my like, man. I exactly. need to yeah. stop other families doing this. Maybe he like makes gotcha. it a crusade to like. Well, maybe it's a whole well, that's cult. True too. Maybe it's a whole like. Maybe they, maybe he cult. gets maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. he get, maybe he gets like the that, gift of the fucking the, the pizza place the down low yeah Pizza Gate Pizza Gate yeah. Or and we gotta have Tim Heidecker back in those movies. 
Oh, oh no. yeah, he died. He, no, he was in. Uh, Who's Tim Heidecker? Tim Heidecker was in the not get oh, out. Oh, he's he Tim and Eric. He was in the second one of the rabbits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What Tim was that one called? Uh, the us. us yeah. God, he's so funny. I love that guy. So I've got uh, my only thing I could come up with is that okay. So you know we have like a shit ton of Hellraiser sequels, right? Yeah, I want there to be and listen. I love them all in their own way. I know some of them are super bad, but I love them and I don't care. Even I, those ones where they're like, "Well, we better make a movie," or, or Clive Barker. Yeah, no, exactly. Get his uh, fucking rights. I back. don't necessarily like like the newer ones without uh, Doug Bradley, but th- those right. aren't quite as good. However, um, as far as uh, that goes, I want to see the Scarlet Gospels be made. Maybe part one, part two, and then the Scarlet Gospels, and kind of forget about three, four, and then the rest of them, right? But this, I mean, like, I mean, it's like the one book I've read in the last five years, and it was like really good. And I feel like I know that there's a ton of like, what do you call those uh, comics or, or uh, graphic novels, stuff like that, with Hellraiser stuff. And I've heard there's tons of great storylines in that. But I really would like to see a full blown, big budget Scarlet Gospels. I feel like that would be awesome. The Scarlet Gospels is one and two. Or? No, Scarlet Gospels is its own thing. Oh. It, it's it. Uh, Pinhead actually fights Lucifer. Weird, interesting. Yeah, it's cool. It's really for cool. domination. Oh, really? To be the fucking deadliest man, more or less. Deadliest. Is but it, no, is it's it good. Like, I, I picture just this like big finale where they're just dueling. There's like heavy metal music and flames. Or maybe like, oh, I don't yeah, feel like that, it's that, that cheesy. <laughs> but no, some they would have to be. <laughs> I would love it if it were like a big budget with a big stage and big sets because they made the book sounded so big. Like yeah. in hell, a lot of oh, it would be awesome. I picture that you remember from Dust Till Dawn after the band turns to vampires and yeah. they have like body parts. Yeah, I picture that the demons in hell played with torsos and stuff. And I've said that about Clyde Barker's A Great and Secret Show. That yeah. should be a fucking, like a big Stephen King, fuck it, we're, we're throwing money at it, a yeah. big movie. But they're like, no, man. I thought of uh, one other one. And so Fight Club has a direct sequel, but it's a graphic novel only. And um, it was the guy that originally wrote Fight Club, wrote the graphic novel too. But Chuck they never Palinick. did a movie. Yeah, I think so. Uh, they never did a movie of it. I don't know why. So, uh, okay, so let's do this. Why don't we... By the way, I just want to remind the folks in this room. When we do our, our like, sound check, we do it up here, and then we talk I know, we right? back here, it's different. So I'm just looking at the level. All right. Well, I didn't I'm mean just, to scold I'm, you, I'm kiddos. Ta- I'm, taking, I'm taking... I didn't some, mean to scold you, know, you guys. I'm taking notes. So, uh, Ricky, what's the question for next episode? Um... Oh, you have to come up with one. Real well, quick? I, th- I, what I want to do this time, and you've done it before, so I'm, don't call me out on it. But I'm not going to call you out. It's your um, show. I want to. Th- I want anyone that's listening to bring up a question or two that they think. Sure, be why interesting. not? That's I'll great. Have, I'll have a notebook for yeah. you, and we'll, you can and we'll write take it down. Notes. So anything you think could be fun, interesting, doesn't even have to be horror related per se. I mean, we did go over Fast and the Furious. Yeah. Today, so anything so you think like, would be a good question, let us know, and then we'll kind of go from there. So cool. So call that in at 385-351-9273. 385-351-9273. You know what would be cool? If people were to be like, hi, this is so-and-so. I'm from so-and-so. Hey, I'm from, this is Big Earl. I'm from Kentucky. Right. So like that. just maybe because, you know. Why well, is Big Earl from Kentucky? Yeah. Because What's the, that all Do you know about? how many Big Earls Why are from Kentucky? Why can't you have a little Delilah All right, my Kentucky. bad. My bad. He's from Tennessee. So, <laughs> so right. it's totally wrong. That's better. Uh, so, okay. So why don't we do this? Right now, we're about to listen to a song. By a band that is called The Other, and I shut my tablet. The you know Other? What? what song are you doing? So we've got... Mark of the Devil. Well, no, we can't because there's no video where we could. But let's do... Do you want to do Turn It Louder or We're All Dead? Uh, e- either either or. Let's do Turn It Louder because I prefer that song. Okay, let's song. do it. Why, why, do, why don't you go ahead and go ahead? I was going to say, why would you even give him an option? Why don't you say we're doing this one? Because, yeah. uh, I mean, I don't I don't want to, like, you know, be... Well, because you know, there was two videos. Stamp on my feelings or something. I don't want to hurt his feelings. Uh, I've never seen any of the videos, so I would say let's go with... Uh, turn it louder. Their version of... Uh, um, turn it louder? Turn it louder. All right, okay, cool. So go ahead and we'll show you the video, or you'll listen to it, and we'll be right back to talk about the other. <laughs> 